It is the lives of young children where the battleground about free speech and free thought is most fiercely joined by the opposition to those two things. Free thought and free speech are not something parents want to offer their children. All it takes to get notoriety is to say that person says the n-word to kids or that person tells kids that there is no God that there actually isn't one that they don't need to think for themselves on that topic there just isn't one at all it's best if people think for themselves one hopes they come to the right solution but what other topics do we allow ourselves this negligence of onus of proof? Parents just get to be dictatorial. And there really is no possible opposition except the internet. But the internet has been shaped systemically in simple-minded ways. And those simple-minded ways add up over the long term and over the large scale to systematic racism, classism, misogyny, misanthropy, ableism, everything else. The internet does not challenge nearly enough the status quo and all of the bigotries that we wrestle with and have to live under. So I make videos like this that just suck because I have nothing to offer besides tell babies and toddlers, there's no God, my nigga, but there is a N word called nigger. And it should mean human, but it just doesn't. Because whatever forces that decide these things are just too powerful. And those forces are not on your side. It makes sense to tell your kids that. It's best if parents did that. It would be a tough conversation, but one that would loosen the load on kids greatly because then except for sex everything that they could possibly mess up in the adult eye would be solved you get to say any words you want it's best to say good words because it's best to say things that make sense and help other people etc etc but, you know, there's no God, and yes, there is a nigger out there, and it should mean human. God damn it. And so, it really rests on your shoulders, baby. Because when you become an adult, anybody can sidestep that. Just like you sidestep a preacher in the street. It takes nothing. Or some kind of abortion protester. All you do is ignore them. That's the easy route. What are you going to do engaging with them except make them look legitimate? But this is legitimate. It's not like a street preacher. These are true things about reality that we make impossible for ourselves. And I don't know how to fix it except to just keep on trying. Hey kids, pay attention. I'm depressed about it because it's just recently gotten me kicked off of my one game that I like to play, Plants vs. Zombies Heroes Edition. And I'm already kind of kicked off the Apple Store, so I don't have any way to get around that right now and I don't want to have to but I really don't have many games to play 
So, for those few of you that watch my videos all the way through, recommend a game and a platform I can play on it. Because I'm, I'm bored and I would like to have something new because this is old news to me and I, I don't get excited just repeating myself unless the repetition of a thought is the one that improves it and establishes it further. Then I'll return, repeat myself and return to a topic all day long. But most of the time it's, I mean, what, God damn it. What's the point in anything when the barrier to change is so high and so strong? 